Hello there and welcome to Parabuild. I'm Morris Dimba and if you take a look on the screen here you can see a very very simple steel portal frame. I want to extract an elevation view from this simple 3D model and convert it to a normal AutoCAD drawing. From there you will be able to customize your drawing as a, as a normal AutoCAD line work. So let's get started from this simple model. Now, since we have this already done on our previous tutorial on uh, on Parabuild, so let me just press Shift and hold my middle button on the, on the mouse and and uh, I'll, and turn, turn this around like this. So and hold your middle button on the mouse and try move your cursor. Uh, I mean, move your mouse. You'll be able to pan it uh, back and forth. So let's rotate it by pressing Shift and holding your middle button on the mouse you'll be able to rotate your model like that so i'm going to extract elevation as i as i had said and export that elevation to a plain autocad or normal autocad so that you can add more uh, dimensions or add more annotations to your uh, to your drawing so to do that we have to we have tabs here we are on a model tab under autocad under autocad we are on model tab under autocad if you take a look here, we are on Parabuild modeling area. So we have this layout one and layout two. So we have all this. So currently we are working under model area. So we want to extract an elevation view from 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 grid from grid one. So to do that, we'll come to uh, we'll come on my right here and mouse over this button here. So just click on it. So the moment you click on it, come to the bottom end here and add new plan views. So just click on there. So the moment you click on there, you'll be prompted with uh, with the grid line uh, views. So from here, you'll be able you you will be able to pick on which particular view do you want to uh, uh, place your camera and extract a view from that point so in this particular case i want to pick on grid one so i'll select on that and click ok so from here i'll be able to pick scale to fit i can i can select on paper size here let me stick by a2 and uh, an annotate main prof annotate main profiles i can check on that annotate welded profiles i can annotate that annotate bolts i can i can uh, enable that now once i've done with this i'll just go ahead and click ok and give it some time to process that information so here we are and we have this in place so all these have have been labeled and we have all this information so you see on um, on layout here we cannot add more value we cannot enhance or customize our drawing uh, from here so what we want to do we want to take it to uh, to model view here now to make it look like uh, a, a normal autocad drawing so that we can add add more value to it so let me come back to shop drawing this is more m uh, very much important to people who are not very conversant with with the 3d but they are very 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 good in 2d uh, a drawing so once you've extracted your elevation like this like we've just done here we want to take it to we want to convert it or save it as just a normal autocad drawing so that you can uh, share with with anyone and that uh, that person will be able to work on it properly or add more or, or customize it more fa further so since you have this and we have it is on shop drawing tab i'll just right click and come to export to model model means this this tab so let me click on this export layout to model i'll click on that so the moment you click on that you'll be prompted with a small a small dialog box where you'll be able to save it on a particular sec uh, on, on, a, on a particular um, area in this particular case we want to save it on our desktop so for ease of accessibility so let me just type here uh, elevation uh maybe front elevation 11 now i'll leave it there and click that so i'll go ahead and click save so the moment i save it 
uh, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be requested maybe to open it automatically. I'll go ahead and click open. So the moment I open it, don't worry about that. I have so many add-ons uh, to make my workflow very easy. One of them is Parabuild, a very important tool to include on your toolkit if you're a, uh, a designer or uh, a professional beam expert. Now, now we have this. We have our our portal frame here in AutoCAD, a plain AutoCAD. So in, inside here, we can now work with AutoCAD tools or we can uh, add, you can use both tools uh, for Parabuild and AutoCAD. So it's in this particular case, you can see it's it's one component. So how, how, how do you handle this? What you can do, once you've selected everything and uh, you want to work on this, just press or explode everything. So if if the information available here is just enough for you, so th there's no need of exploding it. So what you just add is just the the, the, the dimension. So you we come to annotation here. Just uh, just click on that and try. We want to try and add more dimensions here. So let me en enable that and uh, snap on that spot and drag it slightly and bring it somewhere there. So you can see my text are very small and this you can adjust by pressing D and enter and you'll be able to, you'll be able to find some tools here to adjust and annotations. Let me just add that and click somewhere here and see a preview. We have that preview there and you want an offset right there and uh, maybe lines we need something bigger. Lines maybe we need 50 right there and maybe 50 here. Perfect. Let's go to to arrows, and we want to put an arrow there, maybe one fifty right there, and uh, maybe text. We can come to text and put above and uh, offset it some measurements. And this is enough. We can go ahead and click OK and click Set Current and click and close this. So we have this in place, but it doesn't looks it doesn't look uh, nice still. And we want to change, we we've come to text or and lines here, we want to change uh, these to uh, plain white so that we can see everything clearly. And we come to text here and uh, try to change this to white. And also, uh, that's enough information, just close and click set, set current cl and close that. We can see this in, in place. So we can go ahead and add more dimensions and uh, maybe we can start from that spot and move all the way to this particular end and click on that and drag and bring it somewhere here. Right click and come to uh, dimensions and snap on that spot and move all the way to this far end here. And add more dimensions and add more add more information on your drawing. So just double click on this and uh, we want to add more information maybe there and uh, we can uh, just s indicate some information here. S setting out points. Setting out points. You can leave it there. So we have this information. You can come here and add some information, maybe from this far end and move all the way to the bottom end here and leave it somewhere here leave it somewhere there and uh, maybe add some information hi here it just add some information there overall or if height if height just come back here overall if height Leave it there. So you can add more dimensions and you can come there and uh, we want to uh, get this distance from this far end and, and stretching all the way to this end here. So we can always get that dimension right there. So it's, it's scaled and uh, this is the beauty of exporting this to plain AutoCAD. So you can add more, more details to your drawing and remember, under AutoCAD, you have all some 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 tools available. So if you combine these parabuild, you can come up with a very very professional work. 
output. So you can see this and this is how it's done. So if you mouse over this, this still you can see it's, it is one component. So you have everything here and also all the details here. We have A1 already named here and we have the total number of them. Everything is here. So this is how you can uh, improve your work, your workflow and your, your work output uh, using a Parabuild by exporting whatever you want to do if you are not comfortable a lot uh, you are not comfortable at all with uh, the, the the details generated on layout so you can ex always export these to 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 autocad model or autocad uh, working area or just save it as a normal autocad drawing or line work and you can add more annotations to it so thanks a lot for watching this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also try and use or uh, uh, have a taste of this particular uh, software uh, and, and consider adding it to your toolkit in your designs uh, design office setup so you can have a taste of that now let me just zoom out and uh, show you how it looks. So you s it, remember this, once you've done this, you have the power or a full control. Or, uh, if you don't need this title block, you can always delete it and add your own. So that's it. And thanks a lot. Let's meet then. Bye-bye, Amoris Dimba. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.